guys, how you doing? It is Echo and welcome to another episode on my Minecraft Title Update 19 Explained Features. Now this is something you guys have asked me to do for a little while and that is the redstone block. Now I'm not the best with redstone but I'm going to explain to you as much as I can and why a lot of people are excited about this block. Now a block of redstone, also known as a redstone block, acts as a piston, movable redstone power source which cannot be turned off. Now this is the first self-powering block which is very exciting and a lot of people use these on Minecraft PC for adventure maps or just for mini games which I can see why a lot of people are very excited about it. Now to create a redstone block you need to fill the whole crafting bench which is 9 redstone. This will bring an outcome of a redstone block and creeper get out the way which looks like this which to me looks a, bit, a little bit more attractive than this. Uh, in my in my opinion just looks a lot, a lot more attractive and as you can see that's powered up that anyway so it is a good block to have and a lot of people are very excited about it now it is the first self-powering block and it can be used underwater whether it be for a lamp or anything like that which is a great feature now I want to explain to you some very basic things about this um, it can be used to transport blocks as well, very similar to a block of iron, a block of diamond, and a block of gold. Because if you place a block of uh, redstone inside the actual crafting bench, you can then get redstone out of it, which is pretty good. It's good for transporting lots and lots and lots of redstone for some creations. Now, moving away from that, we're going to focus on something very, very basic. Now, this is just something I designed to try and explain to you as much as I can. Like I said, I'm not the best. And if you guys know any more additions to redstone blocks, which you'd like to leave in the comment section, please do because a lot of people do read the comment section in response to me creating videos and I would really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not the best. Now, obviously you can place down any uh, block of redstone, but to break it, it can be used with a wooden pickaxe, diamond, iron, gold, anything you can break it, even stone. Uh, they all are used to break the block of, um, of uh, redstone. Now, it is renewable. Um, and it is uh, stackable up to 64 as you can see in my, craft in my crafting inventory I have a stack of 63 um, so yeah moving away from that I want to focus on something I created now before the block of redstone was introduced you would need to power this and this to then power this now I'm going to explain to you what I mean so if I'm to flick this on as you can see, no activation has happened. Even when I place this down there, not, no activation has happened there. So this is where you would need a redstone repeater. So I place down a redstone repeater there. This powers this to power this to go through the block to then power this. Well, basically with the block of redstone, it's cutting out the middleman, so you won't need this. So let me just break this real quick. Uh, switch this off, break this, and switch it with a block of redstone. Now a block of redstone can be pushed by a piston, which is very, 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 very useful. And a lot of people have found so many great creations with this. So if I flick the switch now, we don't really need this middleman here because then this redstone block will then power this so whether it's for something very basic to even push up another um, piston or something like that it, it can be used for many things it is up to you so I have that there I can then switch this off which will then switch them both off so this could be one door and then walk for another door that's just a basic example um, and hopefully you guys do learn one or two things about this now you can even use a redstone block for something as basic as this in your house to power up a redstone lamp now to me, this looks a little bit more attractive than this in your house. For Let me just grab a redstone lamp and show you what I mean. So if I'm to have a redstone lamp, you can obviously use a redstone torch to power it. But to me, I think... Ooh. To me, this looks a little bit more attractive, and obviously it's, I'm on my Minecraft server, so it may be a little bit laggy, as you can see that it does uh, boot up. Now, the cool thing about the redstone block, it doesn't just power on top, it powers on all angles. So if I'm to break this, and break this, and place them there, um, you can also have a lamp there, which will then get powered all by the same block, which is good. It's just good for creations, whether it be um, you want to have a light in your house, and you want it to be powered by one thing, it's really, really good. I'm going to show you a pretty basic example of what I mean right now. Um, so you want to have, like... Uh, a big chandelier in your house you can then place down this 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 and this and it looks really really cool it just I just think it looks really really awesome to have in your house and that's just a, a basic example there um, so anyway moving away from that a redstone lamp does not power through any block it just powers itself so this isn't gonna go through this to then power this and as you can see that is off not the way a redstone torch would um, so a redstone torch to the uh, redstone itself then goes through but again I don't know it just doesn't really look good it kind of the way redstone blocks work they kind of make things a little bit more neat in Minecraft and they do have a lot of complications which you guys will probably learn a one or two things about and now before we get into that I want to show you something a basic clock that you can do with a redstone um, Repeater and you also need the redstone with a sticky piston. So I'm gonna place this here I'm gonna place a redstone torch there. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna put that on last I'm also gonna place down this here with a redstone like this. Uh, I'm gonna have a redstone repeater here 
I'm gonna have redstone, 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 um, and redstone. I need a lever, so I place that on there real quick. Let me just grab a leather real quick. And as you can see, there you go. You can have like an automated clock type thing. Now, you can set this up to however you want. Uh, I'm just gonna quick, quickly turn this off. Basically, I wanted to show you that this is just a basic clock. I know you can do the basic Minecraft clock with the repeaters where it's like um, place, 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 and then you've got redstone, 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 redstone. You guys know what exactly what I mean with the, but this is just something that you can use that I think looks really cool. Then eventually you can have a redstone repeater here and a dispenser here with arrows in, and you can send it to how many you want the actual dispenser to do. So basically if I was to flick this for a certain amount of time, the redstone torch would then burn out. You can also slow down this as well to how many ticks you want. Um, the redstone torch would eventually burn out and it would fire how many signal strengths it goes through. So say it goes through four, one, two, three, four. Um, it would fire four and then to fire four more you then have to activate it again. Um, but it seems like because my server is really, really slow and laggy at the moment, I can't show you that. Now, I want to show you something cool about this. This is uh, the redstone just with a lever going through a sticky piston to then push more redstone. So if I'm to activate this, you'll notice that they will all go sim simultaneously and they will be pushed. But this will normally spread out by like 15 uh, redstone um, like, like this. So it will normally be like separated with loads of different redstone to then activate it. Now, previously in Minecraft to then get this to push this to this, you would have like say this for example, like this. And it would do exactly the same, uh, but I guess it's just more useful with the redstone block. It just keeps the signal strength as well all the way through. And again, I'm I'm pretty new to redstone, so I couldn't explain everything as much as you guys probably deserve to know. But again, this is why you leave comments to help each other out, and I do really do appreciate it. This is just my basic tutorial on redstone. A lot of people are excited about it because of what you can do with it, as in adventure maps, creating mini maps. That's it's down to you. I'm sure you guys are going to have some awesome great creations with it. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the like button. Let me know if I missed anything. I would really appreciate it and have a great day. Bye!